News and current affairs programmes are, I'm sure you'll agree, generally a pain in the neck. A newsreader is someone who starts the programme by saying good evening and then spends the next 30 minutes telling you why it's anything but good. Most news anchors have got egos almost too big to get into their studios. They often treat their victims, or I'm sorry, I mean to say interviewees, with barely concealed contempt. Professional politicians are their absolute favourite prey, which they prove by laying into them without any obvious sign of wishing to develop the arguments, get to the truth, or even sometimes deal with the matter in hand. Instead, they go to any length to expose some utterly trivial and irrelevant detail. A news journalist would be more interested in whether the Prime Minister had parked on a double yellow line than whether he was doing a good job of leading the country. All of which is why, if you haven't listened to PM on Radio 4 at 5pm each afternoon, you have missed a treat. The production team of this hour-long news programme set themselves apart with their unique style, which is at once enlightening and enlightened. Dealing with all the headline issues of the day, many of them harrowing and serious, has not stood in the way of a light and innovative approach which combines effectiveness with humour and common sense. Those last two words being something about as common as rocking horse manure in newsrooms as well as anywhere else in public life. The jewel in the crown of this first-class programme is, of course, the lead presenter, Eddie Mayer. This Dundee son of a lorry driver and a nurse has won numerous awards for his broad broadcasting. It's time he won more. His interview style eclipses nearly all of his BBC colleagues. Eddie manages, with consummate skill, to avoid the number one fitball, pitfall of trying to be more important than the person he's talking to. Capable of interrupting where it's necessary, he normally allows interviewees to develop their argument, skillfully steering them in the direction the listener wants to hear. He makes it sound so easy, one cannot imagine why so many other notorious BBC interviewers manage to make it all so difficult and confrontational. When interviewing ordinary people who are not politicians, Eddie shows huge sensitivity and respect gently steering often a novice interviewee through a difficult experience. He manages to bring out the rich variety of wit and wisdom in his subjects which too many others, by their overbearing prima donna style, suppress. There is humour, satire, irony and acoustic slaps slapstick punctuating the programme which never quite takes itself too seriously. So, do yourself a favour, if you're not already a fan, and give Eddie and PM a try. You won't regret it.